convert it to x's and y's. So if I was going to do that for this problem, what I would do is I'd just say 2x squared plus, plus 3x equals 0. All right? And if I said, oh, how do I solve for x for here? Well, then I would notice, all right, I can't combine my like terms. I can't use my inverse op operations. But if I can rewrite this as a product equal to 0, then I can apply the 0 product property. So what I would do is I'd factor out an x, and that would leave me with a 2x plus 3 equals 0. And then I could solve this right by using the 0 product property. So I look at here, and I said, all right, instead of an x, I can factor out a cosine. So if I factor out, I'm sorry, a cosine of x. When I factor out a cosine of x, I'm left with a 2 cosine of x plus 3 equals 0. Okay. All right. So now, when we go ahead and do this, now I can apply the 0 product property. And what I'll have is cosine of x equals 0. And then 2 cosine of x plus 3 equals 0. Now, to go and find all the solutions, I just solve. So this one I'll solve for negative 3. So I have cosine of x, um, or 2 cosine of x equals negative 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. And cosine of x equals a negative 3 halves. And then we also have cosine of x equals 0. Now remember, we're trying to find the values using our unit circle. Where are these points on the unit circle? And what I addressed to Mackenzie while she was looking at there, and we haven't gone over really too much of these. But you guys, you know, I'm, I really stress you guys knowing those first points on the unit circle. But the one thing I want you guys to understand, it doesn't matter where the point is on the unit circle, the maximum distance that we're going to go is 1, right? So therefore, my x and my y coordinate always have to be less than 1, right? The absolute value of them has to be less than 1. You can't go to the right farther than 1, correct? You can't go to the left farther than 1. You can't go up farther than 1. You can't go down farther than 1. So therefore, if I'm trying to find that value of my angle for cosine and it's greater than negative 1, it's not within our, um, it's not going to be within our domain for us to find that angle. So this solution is just not going to exist. And I'm going to, I have some more information to go over with you guys um, on that, which we'll do next class period on that. But so that one does not exist. It's not within our domain. Okay, it's not going to fall within our um, domain when we're looking at this. Okay, and well, I'll talk a little bit more about this next class period. But just note, remember, you want to look if it's if it's cosine of x equals one half, you know where that point is, right? Yeah. This point, negative three halves, is not on the unit circle, right? Where, do you know where an x coordinate on the unit circle is negative three over two? No. You cannot evaluate. And it'll make more sense at least when I talk about the inverse. Yes? If it was negative square root of 3 over 2, then yeah, that's a point, right? But it's not negative square root of 3 over 2. It's just, neg it's just negative 3 over 2. So we can't do anything with it. However, we can find the value of cosine when it, cosine of x equals 0. And cosine of x equals 0 at this angle, right? 0 comma 1, which is um, pi over 2. And this angle which is 3 pi over 2. Since the distance between those two is pi, I can just say x equals pi over 2 plus pi n. And that would be all your solutions. Okay.